stay true to our vision. Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm so happy that you joined me for another episode of Extraordinary Women TV, where we learn how to get our dreams into action. Debbie Travis is an internationally recognized television personality, entrepreneur, designer, award-winning author, syndicated columnist, and so much more. Now, uh, you've built uh, quite an empire uh, in broadcast. Uh, you've written a lot of books, eight books, nine, nine books, including your autobiography. Mm. Um, you, you've done a lot, but you are into your next chapter uh, of your life. Um, you've been spending a lot of time in Italy, renovating mm. a, a villa. Um, let's talk about what's next for Debbie Travis. Well, I, we filmed in Italy about 12 years ago, and I fell in love uh, with the country and the people and the food and, of course, the wine. Um, and so we had a dream, like a lot of people. You know, you go on holiday, wouldn't it be nice to buy a shack on the beach? Wouldn't it be nice? You know, but the dream kept going. And we started to rent houses in the summer as family holidays. And bit by bit, that dream became a slight obsession, I'd say, with my husband and I. And we started looking. And while we were looking, we met a lot of um, older people who were maybe in their 70s who were like saying, well, it's great. You can buy these old houses. You can do them up. You can live here. You can retire here. And, uh, and then you're kind of on your own. Your kids stop coming because they get jobs. You know, your friends want to go and go somewhere else for the summer. And I started thinking, oh God, I don't want to look at my husband for the next 20 years. What, what, what do I do? And I'm a doer. And my audience has always been women. I love working with women. I love inspiring women. I love girls' night out. And I thought, well, what if I love this place? What if I created a place where girlfriends, women on their own, or business retreats for women could come and spend a week in a spectacular location with spectacular food, spectacular things to do, and have a week that inspires them. So what makes your retreats unique? We did this in a rental villa, and now we've bought a massive property, which will sleep 28. Um, this is not a shack on a beach, then? No, it grew from a shack like it always does in real estate. Um, so we, we're yeah. bringing women out from, I mean, people say, why women? I'll say why, because <laughs> they're more fun um, and we drink a lot more. Um, but but women love to talk and the retreats themselves, we often take women from different ages, different walks of life to celebrate the camaraderie of women, but also to brainstorm ideas. So you might have a woman who maybe is finding it a little bit hard talking to her friends or a husband or a partner, you know, about these ideas. When you come and there's other women there who maybe are in the business that she wants to go in or, you know, they're a different age group. And how often do you have the opportunity where a 32-year-old can talk to a 58-year-old who says, you know, I did that. What about if you did that? And they never shut up. From the minute they arrive till three in the morning when I'm saying, you need to go to bed, you know. Um, it's yoga at seven. Get into bed. You know, they're, they're, we've had five or six women going to business together. We've had friendships have formed that are so palatable. They have reunions, and they come from all over the world. We have them from New Zealand. We've had them from Barbados. We have, we're about 70% Canadian, because that's where I'm the most known, of Americans. And so I'm doing that, and then I'm starting, I'm being asked a lot for women who are having birthdays. And, you know, if you're a guy, you might not understand this, but, you know, that feeling of girls' night out. When you do girls' night out, the first thing you say when you get home is, why don't we do this every week, you know? But it takes you a month to organize it because women are open, they're free. They drink more, they eat the dessert. They don't care what the bloke thinks because there's no men there. So this is girls' night out for a whole week. But then the other thing I'm, I'm doing is corporate. So what's very interesting is that large corporations have um, events that they do for men and they've done for generations. So they'll send them to the Super Bowl, they'll send golfing. them to St. Andrews, golfing, golfing, yeah. golfing. But, you know, for women, and now there's more and more female executives. So right. one woman said to me, she came to one of my retreats, and she said, if I get asked to go to another bloody canyon ranch, you know, 
what do they think we are? You know, we don't all, you know, you do a week of massage, it gets a little dull. And it's an invested week because you have to t go away from work and the family and stuff like this. And you can only have so many yeah. manicures and exactly, pedicures. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, sure. So um, I started to do um, corporate weeks. And I'm very excited about that because, you know, it's less hands-on with me. I do a couple of maybe speeches if I'm asked. You know, we do the opening dinner and the closing dinner and, and, and organize some events for them. But then they can have their seminars in this stunning valley. So how did you decide on Tuscany? Tuscany is, uh, is, is I think it's in one of the top five of anybody's bucket list. And, and there's a reason for it. First of all, it's a national heritage site, so it's protected by UNESCO. So in a 50-mile radius from me, there isn't a building that's kind of older than... 300 years or younger than 300 years, you know. Um, I look out on a view that hasn't changed for over a thousand years. Um, part of my house goes to the sixth century, you know, it's like, wow, you know, it, it's amazing. And, and there's a longevity. Um, under the Tuscan sun, of course, is something sun. that has put Tuscany on the, on the map for yeah. many people. Well, Francis and this is May what you're living now. Well, Francis Mays, I read, like many people, and saw the movie a thousand times with tears running down my face, and I rang her up. And I, like many people, people walk around Tuscany with the book under and the thing, and I said, you're my idol. I, I, I think what you did is what I want to do. And I want to know why, can, can we meet? And um, she said, yes. Who am I, you know? And we became best friends. And that was about four years ago. And I, I spend more time with her than anybody else. She's fantastic. She has a hunky husband. Um, and uh, I love everything she does. And, and we've done a few events together. And, and she's fantastic. But it wasn't just me. There are hundreds, if not millions of people who... It's not that everybody wants to follow their dream and buy a house in Italy. But it's about the dream. And it's about how, how do you make that dream work? And this is where you, you fit all these little blocks in. You have this little seed, you have this idea. How do you build it? How do you build your next chapter? And there's a lot of people trying to work that out so that they can come and visit me and we'll help them on their way. And, and we do, they come back and they make changes and, and how to squash that fear, what if? That's the what if it doesn't work? What if nobody comes? What if I lose all my money? What if, what if, what if? But you never ever wanna die going, well, I was going to do that, you know? And something that you had said to me in a previous conversation that we had was that women uh, in their 40s to 50s are looking for that next chapter, oh, many yeah. of them. Yeah. And this is something that's important yeah. for you. The and, first retreat, right. my husband kept saying, he's, the, he's there, he's one of the drivers, the only men allowed. And he kept walking past, he's a businessman here, but he kept walking past, he goes, um, why are they all crying? <laughs> what are they crying about, you know? And they cry all the time, they laugh and they cry. But it is difficult. It's difficult to make a change. It's difficult. You know, there's a lot of women who've been widowed. There's a lot of women divorced. And that's a very, you know, it's great when your kids are around, but that from 14 to 18 goes like a blink. So this is taken off them. And then the next layer comes off and the next layer. And it leaves them quite raw. But then you just build up and you start building up. And these are, well, what if I did this? I've always, we had a woman come who was a surgeon. And she said, you know, I get up in the morning and I'm like, she's, I've done it for so long. I've done it all my life. And we said, well, what would you like to do? She said, well, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a singer. And I wanted to play the guitar and sing folk songs. She's Irish. And my father said, no, you're, you're very clever. And she's very clever. You're going to be a doctor. And she became a top doctor. And she's an incredible person, a surgeon. And she's just given it all up. And she found herself, she went on the internet, she found a band, and she's singing in bars and pubs, in, in the, actually in the US. And she's the happiest I've ever seen her. But, the, but there's no guilt, because she's raised her kids, she's done that chapter, but she said it's the people who say, you can't do that. You can't give up a $300,000, $400,000 salary it, to be one step up from busking. You know? <laughs> but you can. So Debbie, how has Tuscany changed your life, this chapter of your life? Oh, it's completely changed my life. Um, well, luckily I've done it with my husband and he loves it as much as me. My kids love it. I breathe. Uh, I've got rid of a lot of noise, you know, and, and, and I mean, I'm still doing the stuff here, 
but I'm much calmer about it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. No, it's fine. And I couldn't have done it that way 15 years ago. It was, it was the chase, and I like the chase. But I look at those views. I eat a tomato, one tomato sliced with my olive oil. And it, I'm not saying that's everybody's dream, but I made it happen. I came to this country with, you know, a fella. <laughs> He told me he was really rich and he wasn't. But so, Debbie, for anyone who wants to find out more about your retreats, um, yeah, well, we have time, a, we, we have a, go? yeah, well, we have a website called TuscanGetaway.com, and there's also a Facebook site which is something like that, um, and they can follow us on Facebook. They can follow the renovation of, of the new property that we're doing, um, or just go on DebbieTravis.com. Everything's there, or Twitter. Twitter's the best because with Twitter which I've become a bit addicted to it, you know, I can, I can say, okay, we're doing this. Olive oil's landing in Canada tomorrow. If you want your bottle, um, and you should, olive oil's fantastic. Um, you know, so it's Twitter I like because it really keeps you in the moment, giving your audience, um, your viewers, people who, you know, want to follow you or are interested in what you're doing, day-to-day -day bullets of, of what's going on. And the great thing about Italy, the biggest gift for me is when you're on television, I don't know my audience unless I do a go to a trade show or whatever. I have met some of the, I'm going to cry now, some of the most incredible women. These are women, if I met them in a supermarket, every woman has a story. And some of them are very strong women, you know. Some of them are just looking for me, me time. Now, Debbie, it's my good to know minute, and I know you've got a great success tip. You need to be pushy. You need to um, be brave. You only wanted one, right? <laughs> well, that, we're good. Yeah, brave, I think yeah. bravery, confidence, and passion. You know, and and f and really lose the fear. Fear is is it's pointless. And that's good to know. Thank you. Well, for more information about Extraordinary Women TV, my guests, and to watch past episodes. I invite you to visit the website at extraordinarywomentv.com. And I'd love to stay in touch with you. Join me on Twitter for an empowering stream of Extraordinary Women TV updates. On Facebook, we can connect at Extraordinary Women TV. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.